Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the Who Crew. Night Owl here. Just wanted to say hi uh, and talk about uh, another issue or another personal issue that I have. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know that I appreciate it. I've reached 500. Woohoo! Um, I'm excited. I mean, I have grown so much thanks to the I Am A Creative community. So thank you to everyone who has stopped by, supported or um, has liked my videos, who has shared them and everything else. I really, really, really appreciate it. So please like, su subscribe, and, and uh, tweet it out. Send it to Instagram. Send it to Facebook. Whatever you wish. Just, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And I do want to um, thank a few people. These are the last few that uh, got me here. Uh, to 500 that you all did don't get me wrong I'm just saying these are the last few that helped me I'm actually at 502 so um, these are the people that got me over the hump uh, Renee Unrated Tan Bear Makeup by Nicole N Living in the Moment The Kiwi Family Afarine or Afarine I'm sorry if I said it wrong Afarine Princess Simply Marie Mrs. Hopkins 73 Tom Shop Do Chai Trey M. Hopefully I said it right. I'm sorry if I didn't. Uh, Aged Graceful. Um, I think it's Quasi RLR. Uh, Chatten Chu with Mrs. J. Leela's Insight. Emily Welda. Handmade by Diana. And Happy Real or Rael. Okay, so today what I want to talk about is um, fibromyalgia. Um, I do suffer from several disabilities, uh, but fibromyalgia is the one that causes me the most pain. Um, so I wanted to talk about it. I wanted people to know uh, what other people, if they say they have fibromyalgia, what they're suffering and what they're dealing with. Um, it's not an easy thing to deal with. It's something where, you know, it, it affects the nerve endings. I can't handle it when when people poke me, it actually hurts, surprisingly enough. Uh, if I bump into a wall, if I walk into a doorknob, if I stub my toe, it feels like someone is stabbing me or whatever. It just feels, it's sheer agony and pain. Not all the time because I'm on painkillers, but they're not really helping. They just kind of take the edge off, so... Anyways, um, fibromyalgia, fibromyalgia, which is a hard word to say all the time too fast, um, is one of the most common types of chronic pain disorders. It's more common in women than it is men, um, but it's not all in the head. A lot, of prop, a lot of people think that someone says that they have fibromyalgia, that they're saying it's all in their head, it's not a real thing, it's this and that. It's real, trust me. Um, it has been described for centuries. Um, it is the, it's the overreaction of the nerves. Sorry, I, I have it written down here, so I'm just, because I've tried to do uh, research on it, but it's where the nerves become hypersensitive. So it just seems like it's, like you just touch someone like this, or like this, sometimes, depending on the, the type of day they're having and it can hurt um was where a lot of people are very you know don't touch me type of people sometimes i'm not saying all of those people are like that because my son is um with his autism he just doesn't like being touched at all but he doesn't have it but he just doesn't like being touched um i i get a hug on christmas and birthdays and but and that's good enough for me uh the the majority of women have it um but men and women suffer the same so the symptoms are still the same everything is still the same so you know but more, it's more common in women for us women to have it i don't know why i think a lot of it has to do with childbirth sometimes too i think because um the amount of children we have it breaks down our system and everything um after every child so it you know takes away our immunity it breaks down our calcium it so we have to do twice as much to get that back after because the the child's been feeding off all of that while they're inside us right so um but i'm not don't quote me on that 
Um, but the pain is uh, that we deal with is sensitivity to touch, environmental sensitivity, muscle and joint stiffness, muscle spasm, exhaustion, trouble concentrating, chronic headaches, bowel troubles, depression. Um, that can all lead to it. High anxiety is part of it as well, which I suffer from. So because it's you get you get so worked up and upset because you just you don't want anyone to touch you because you know it's going to hurt. So you get all worked up about it. Um, but then you get depressed because a lot of days there's so much pain that I've had where I've wanted to curl up in a ball in a corner and just leave me alone type thing. Um, but I don't, I'm not saying this because I want to complain about this because I barely ever, I say ouch a lot, but I don't complain because I don't like that. I don't, I don't want anybody to have sympathy for me. I just want them to be aware of other people that are going through this as well that you know that you, just to, for people to be more sensitive for people who do have fibromyalgia um, um, a lot of things that can help fibromyalgia is eating fruits and vegetables eating more of them can help uh, trying to go vegetarian helps or vegan avoid sugary foods because sugar can make you actually more hypersensitive than normal and I was chewing on gummy ducks the other day. So I try and stay away from a lot of sugar. I don't buy a lot of it, but when I do buy it, it gets eaten and it's gone. Um, eat for energy. Uh, for energy, the best foods for a person suffering from fibromyalgia is almonds, broccoli, beans, oatmeal, whole grain breads, and tofu. So if you're vegan, you're in your glory. Um, don't omit omega-3s. I know a lot of times they say, oh, you know, um, omega-3s are fats and this and that and the other thing. But the thing is with omega-3s is they're good fats. They're not bad fats. So you have to talk to your doctor about what good fats. And I'm sure your doctor or even a weight loss clinic will have a list of good fats that you can eat. But I mean, you can eat anything you want in moderation. When we gain weight, like I am obese, so for me, a lot of my problem is because of my lack of uh, mobility, because I have a hard time with it, my weight just sits there. Um, I've tried to do different exercise, exercises and stuff, but because of the other issues, it's hard for me to do, but I still try. Um, different things they say that you can try is exercise, uh, massage therapy sometimes helps. Lyrica is, um, they want to put me on Cymbalta. There are two different medications that you can take um, that can help with the pain. Um, cognitive behavioral therapy is another thing because it helps your anxiety and depression and obviously pain meds. Um, I'm, I'm just on simple pain meds. Um, they kind of numb things, but they don't take away the sharpness and everything else. When it's there, it's there. Um, so, um, I end up bruised a lot also because I have low iron. So when I walk into things, it not only hurts, but you'll notice <laughs> because I get bruises. So, um, but anyways, thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I hope that it helped you get a little bit more information to realize that if someone is being diagnosed with fibromyalgia, it's not all in your head. It's not, you know, just be sensitive um, to others and um, don't be poking at them and stuff just to see if it hurts and stuff because my kids did that does it really hurt does it really hurt mom um, and my mom because she has dementia she doesn't realize she keeps forgetting that I have this so she'll poke me in the thigh and I'll be like ah oh, don't touch me <laughs> you know and I don't mean to say that to her because it does come off kind of mean to her but I mean it hurts so what am I supposed to say, right? So, but anyways, um, I hope that that helped you get a little bit more information on fibromyalgia. And um, thank you for joining me. Have a great day. God bless, guys.